Hi everyone, with just a 50 days remaining for NEET PG, I hope you all are preparing well. A few days back, I gave you a video in which I told about how to prepare for the small subjects, long subjects, how to make a timetable right starting from now to 30 days. If you haven't watched this video, ensure that you watch it now. I'll just put that video also in the link. And the PDF of the entire 19th subject revision, I have also given in my Telegram group. If you don't have it, ensure that you get it down from my Telegram group just by clicking on the link below. Now let's talk about this. As soon as I gave you that, a question was given to me. Sir, with a neat PG only 50 days remaining, you ask us to focus. But the problem is, I have so much distractions, I'm not able to completely focus. Some of the sayings that I read for one day, the second day I also read, but again, I'm getting distracted. Please help me, sir. I know that I cannot afford it. So if you feel like that, this is a video that you should watch. Let's start it. Let's understand. What is the basic reason that you have started preparing for the exam? Is there your goal right for you? The goal should be right in front of you and that should be in the front of study table because whenever you feel distracted, you should look at that and tell yourself, no, I am not going to get up. Point number two, if you have written your goal in front of you, how is your study table arranged? Is it very much cluttered? There's so many things around you. Ensure that it's very, very neat so that when you study, the only thing that should give you trouble is the subject you're reading and not the subjects which piled up in, beside you and giving you so much, so much of high pressure that you're not able to read. So your study table should consist of just a pen, pencil, highlighters, maybe your mobile phone and your laptop, whatever you need. And very importantly, your notebooks, nothing else. It should accommodate a cup of tea, coffee and water. It should not have anything else. Now ensure that you tell yourself what is your goal for the day. When you get up in the morning, just see what you need to read for the entire day. Plan your entire day to short, short time. Don't plan the entire day just on the time of awakening. When you get up, first tell you, okay, today in the morning time, I need to read this, this and this. That's it. If my I can do this, I readily am end to my goal. So what I'm trying to tell you is just make a precise and short term goals. Don't make a very, very long term goals. Okay. What if you're not able to complete the target in the point of time? Don't get up, guys. Do not get up unless you complete your own target goal. And it's okay. I'm telling you, it's very okay to give you some more target that you can actually achieve so that you get that pressure to keep on reading. For anyone who can get above this pressure is a person who can crack it this time. Isn't the biggest source of distraction is the mobile phone? But the problem is this mobile phone helps us to read. But how are we utilizing this mobile phone? Number one, we read and show that you switch it off or if you need it, just put in the aeroplane mode and do not get distracted. Put out the internet and ensure you only read when you read. Do not look at the mobile phone. If you are one of those who have a habit of taking on the mobile phone after every half an hour, 20 minutes, 10 minutes or 40 minutes, please, you must understand this is not the time to look at that. Come out of social media. Come out of Telegram, WhatsApp, whatever, and just focus on your goal. Your goal is to get the need this year only. Well, still, if you're a beginner, that means if you haven't read for long hours, what you can start is a promoter technique. It's a very good technique. What it talks about is you read for just a 25 minutes of period, take a five minutes of break, again read for 25 minutes, take a five minutes of break, again read for 25 minutes, and take a five minutes of break. So in this way, you gave yourself four 25 minutes of reading with five minutes of break in between. And then gradually, after a few days, two or three days, you increase your time period. It has been ways to utilize your time in the most efficient way. So if you are one of those who cannot sit for long hours, utilize this promo techniques, it will really, really help you. Gradually, you can increase this 25 minutes to one hour and then again give yourself five minutes break and then one hour, five minutes, one hour, five minutes, or you can just increase yourself to one and a half hours and to five minutes. But it really be helpful to those who are not able to sit for a long time. Two things give you satisfaction. One is an immediate satisfaction. And that immediate satisfaction comes when you talk to your friends. When you look at the mobile phone, you look at Insta, Facebook, Twitter, and whatever. But the long term satisfaction will come only when you read it and crack the need. So believe me, guys, this is not a time for short term satisfaction. It's a term that it's a time that you tell yourself that if I can just get myself devoid of everything else and focus on the study, that is give, will give me the long term satisfaction. And I believe and you all should believe that the long term satisfaction will give you what you actually want now. Now, you may also share your study schedule with your family and friends because they can give you input or maybe they will not actually disturb you when you're studying. There's a time 
it will come when you want to take a lunch at 1 pm but because your topic is not complete will not get up till 2 pm that's very very okay for those who are sitting, sitting in a hostel i understand that you have a time period when you have to get up that's very very understandable but for anyone who can afford not to get up don't get out of a study table ensure it's very very clean and let's now summarize what i just told you point number one what is your goal have written this in front of your table write it down point number two you should understand that give yourself a short and a very precise goal don't give your body yourself with a long big term goals third ensure you read it a topic and don't get up unless you have completed this complete topic point number four if your target is not complete don't get up and ensure you give yourself a bit more ta target what you could actually achieve because it will help you to motivate your mind to again start reading up in just next 10 minutes point number five you can just do a small exercise or you can do a promoter technique which is just a reading of 25 minutes then 5 minutes then again 25 minutes and so on and this can again be increased in the due interval time while you can study for one hour and then give yourself, give yourself a break of just half an hour or 50 minutes now the point to understand also here is the more you give a, yourself a break your mind will really want more and more breaks to you from you so ensure you take minimum breaks and start reading for more but if you are able to complete yourself reward yourself guys just reward yourself do you want to go out you want to have a cup of tea in that particular tea stall go there and reward yourself yes you have done your bit and that is when you can reward yourself by going to the cup of tea for our coffee or your friends whatever you want to because that reward will give you positive reinforcement that yes i have to study more believe me guys the small points of the story you will really help you and you can really focus like a machine still if you want anything else let me know in the telegram group or in this uh, uh, comment section below i'll ensure that i'll bring it to you and so that you study for your own benefit and crack the need pg 2022 good wishes goodbye god bless you